What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia Danielle. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so glad you ran across my page or my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and rocking with me. If you are new, please make sure you click on that subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much again for coming back and rocking with me because I'm pretty sure you have your post notifications turned on. And as you can see by the title of this thumbnail, I will be talking about how I went to go get my locks dyed. And so so granted, I am in the military. I'm at the duty army. I'm a warrant officer. If you are a civilian watching this video, it may help you because you may want to go get your locks dyed. And so if you are interested, please make, you, make sure you watch this video until the end. That way you won't have any questions. But if you don't watch it to the end and you still have questions and you want to comment them down below, I will make sure that I answer your questions. So I have my phone here with notes on questions or things that I want to talk about in regards to my lock journey. That way I can stay on track and not make this video video basically too long and so we're gonna go ahead and start so I decided to lock my hair back in 2019 when I came from my third deployment from Afghanistan because while I was deployed I just felt like I was putting too many products on my hair trying to maintain uh, like coils because I was natural gel I even was getting braids and stuff like that I people who do your hair when you're deployed and all I could really do was get braids or like coil my hair and so when I came back I decided to get locks and I was was also encouraged by my husband that it will help with growing my hair and so when I came back from my deployment 2019 I decided to lock my hair it was December the 24th I started with Bianca she is no longer in the area she moved to Atlanta but she did my locks for two years and then I transferred over to another loctician which is her name is Jalisa and yesterday I went to a loctician, which I have been going to for the past like three retwists. Her name is Jalisa as well. And it's kind of like weird because both of their names are Jalisa. But what I will do is link her Instagram down below. And if you are in the Fayetteville, North Carolina area, then you can decide to book you an appointment through her link so you can get a retwist or if you want to get your hair dyed, whatever the case may be. But I have been going on five years long come this December 24th, 2024. That was a tongue twister, y'all. And so I just want to let y'all know that I began my journey back in 2019. And this December the 24th will make it five years that I have been locked. All right. So why? Why did I dye my hair? The question is, why? Why did you dye your hair? I decided to dye my hair because my son had mentioned it. He was like, hey, mom, I feel like you should give your locks some color. Maybe you should get them, you know, dyed or highlighted or whatever the case may be. And being that I'm at the duty army, I can't have like highlights. I can't have some locks be uh, dyed and other locks not like my entire head from the root down has to be colored and so the reason why is because my son brought it to my attention I did feel like you know I was being like a plain Jane because the only color I have had since I have been locked was just black my hair is like 2B, like the color. And so I was like, you know what? Let me spice it up a little bit. My birthday was in May. I'm still trying to look young and do young things. Not saying I'm trying to hop on a trend or be like somebody else because a lot of people are dying their locks nowadays. But that's why I decided to dye my locks because I wanted something to try something new. There's like really no big, huge, major reason why I decided to color my hair. I just wanted to try something new. And my son mentioned it to me and he sent me some inspiration. And so that's basically what I sent my loctician and she said that she was able to do it. And so that's why I decided to dye my locks. The next question is what color? The color that I got, I will tell y'all or show y'all at the end and I will post a picture of the inspiration that I decided to get in regards to dyeing my locks. All right, how much did it cost? The cost of me dyeing my locks was $275. Um, I know that seems on the expensive side but what happened was I went on Saturday to get my hair or my locks dyed but when I went to go get them dyed I had to get like some lint out or not me but when I went to go get my locks dyed my loctician had to get like some of the product out it was a whole lot of build up I hadn't washed my hair y'all since like April and when I say low maintenance to my locks I really don't do too much unless I go have a loctician do something to my hair and so she got a lot of the product out she washed it and being that she washed it on Saturday you know that was the $75 for getting the product out and washing it and then I went back on Sunday which was yesterday July the what day was yesterday July the 28th 20 
take 24 she went ahead and colored my locks so on saturday being that she had to take out some of the product and some of the build up and wash my hair she wasn't able to dye it that same day because she said that if you wash your hair it would possibly be hard for the color to stick um, being that I had already got a shampoo and all that so she took the product out washed it on Saturday and then I went back on Sunday and she dyed it I sat under the dryer for like maybe a good hour she shampooed it twice um, and then left me under the sink with some conditioner in for like maybe 15 to 20 minutes and so overall my hair like my scalp everything feels clean I'm so glad she was able to comb out a lot of the product and I know y'all I just really have a hard time with washing my hair like I don't even wash it and so I will go months without getting my hair washed and I will just let the loctician wash it for me um not saying that's because I pay for the services and I can't do it at home I just really don't do too much to my locks like I'm gonna just be honest I don't now she did go over some things that I did need to start doing in regards to maintaining my color and so I will make sure that I do that but all together it was 275 another reason why the cost was so pricey is because I got a hairstyle I got two strand twists and so if I would have just got like a retwist it probably wouldn't have been 275 it probably been like maybe 175 I don't know but altogether the price wasn't that bad based off of what she did on Saturday and she still came in on Sunday which usually people don't do hair on Sundays and so that's why the price I felt like was as much as it was and I really appreciated that so I wasn't complaining in regards to her um charging me that much all right, I'm gonna also give y'all an alopecia update and then I'm gonna go over the color of my locks. And being that I am in uniform, I wanna show y'all, I'm gonna put my jacket on so I can show y'all how I will be wearing my locks to work because they fall below my collar. And so what I'm going to do now is take off my scarf or my do-rag and show y'all what color my locks are. They are, I would say the color is copper. So my locks are a copper color and again I will insert like the inspiration insert um, the inspiration picture of Jaden sent me to in regards to why I decided to go with this color um and so my locks is copper that's the color of them and this is what they are looking like and so this is the color of my locks they are copper. I'm going to insert that inspiration picture that I got from Jaden that he sent me. And so I'm going to do a 360 spin. You got a two day trial before I take back my time and make you pay. 30 day trial before I made my mind and it's always Trials and tribulations. Child, child, child. Kissing in Paris. I guess we could do it in French. Wow. So in regards to my traction alopecia, um, I went to the doctor. My last appointment was in June and I have been using my Rogaine, which I have mentioned on my TikTok. She gave me a prescription to use Rogaine and I have been using Rogaine for the past two months and it is a three month supply. And then I'm also still using my cholesterol. I don't know how to pronounce it. And I have been using this for a year. It's basically like a topical cream trying to get my lens to focus and so this is the topical cream that I have been using for my traction alopecia I have been using it since last August and I just spread a little dab around my edges um, on each side and I have been using the Rogaine which my doctor prescribed to me so I was able to get a prescription three months supply and I have been using it for the past two years now I was using Rogaine before like maybe two years ago but I had to pay for it out of pocket and I stopped using it because it was just getting really expensive but now that I actually am being seen for my trash and alopecia the doctor can write me a prescription so I don't have to pay out of pocket and I just apply a small amount around the front of my edges every single day to help and I have noticed the significance or the improvement of my hair slowly coming in it is still thin but it is still gradually coming in and so this is what my edges are looking like And so now to end this video, I'm going to go put my top on because I'm getting ready to head to work and just basically show y'all how I style my hair or wear my hair to work being that I am in uniform and my locks cannot fall below my collar. So I'm simply just going to take this scrunchie and then pull it back like this and wrap it around one time. 
tuck these under and I am going to take a safety pin and just make sure that I put a pin over here on the side so they don't fall down. But this is pretty much it. This is how I'm going to be rocking my locks to work. Nothing significant, not too much pulling, not too much tension. And that is pretty much it. So let me turn around to the back and show y'all. Hmm? And so this is pretty much it for today's video. I didn't want to make it too long. There's really nothing much for me to say in regards to like getting my locks dyed other than I like the way that the color came out and I will not be going back to get a retwist for like another 12 weeks and I'm just going to go, go buy some products and I'll show y'all on another video um, as far as like an updated video in regards to like how the color um, is either staying in my locks or how I need to go about getting them recolored if I do decide to do so. So I hope this video inspired you all. I hope if y'all have any questions, y'all can comment them down below and I will get to you. And I will also link Jaleesa link down below if you are in the area. If you are not and you want to get your locks dyed, make sure you do the research. I did no research. I just had my loctician um, guide me and tell me the things that I needed to do based off of me getting my locks dyed. And so now on the back end, I know how to take care of them. And uh, that was pretty much it for today's video. Video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you get, share, give this video a like and do not forget to turn on your post notifications. And so the next time I update, upload a video, you will be notified. Peace.